Let me start by saying that I thought the MSI wind would never be sold here. I mean, aside from online. Lo and behold, Best Buy had an MSI wind. The MSI wind has been uh, a main, one of the big competitors to the EPC, the Acer Aspire 1, and more recently the Dell, uh, the mini one, the miniature Dell, the, uh, I think it's the Inspirant 1. Um, this is a little photo here of the keyboard, and that'll give you an idea of what the keyboard is like. With that having been said, I have some notes pertaining to the MSI Wind, so let's take a look. Okay, the one that I saw was a black one, in case you couldn't tell in the video, it, you know, black or blue, which one, it, it was black. Um, the keyboard was good, it had uh, very good tactile feedback. No issues, um, everything seemed to work smoothly. Um, now, it also had nice speakers, decent for a machine of its size. Now what got me was I timed from the boot from start to finish. MSI must have ordered that Microsoft uh, remove all bloatware from XP because this thing booted in under a minute. This is a 100, and this has a 120 gig hard drive with a one gig, excuse me, stick of non-expandable memory. My Vio UX280P has a gig of RAM, 40 gig mechanical hard drive, and it takes roughly two and a half minutes to boot from start to finish. And that, I've pretty much removed all the bloatware I can. Some of it, some of it is still there. Uh, but yeah, for an XP machine, full boot from start to finish in under 60 seconds. Without waiting for everything else to load, it was 33 seconds. So that was very nice. And in addition to being boot to booting fast, the system was uh, pretty responsive. It ran XP well. The RAM, by the way, is non-upgradable. And the retail price of the system is $400. Now, in case any of you are curious, the type of market this machine is suited for is somebody who is on the go, uh, most likely a business individual, or a frequent traveler for their job, uh, even if it's not business related, who needs the ultra compact real estate of a notebook but cannot afford the $2,000 price tag and all they're gonna do is email, surf the web, and possibly chat with friends. That is what these types of machines are designed for. Their, their name, their, their overall category of product is called the netbook. And the netbook is designed for light use, preferably uh, internet use, hence the name netbook. Uh, the systems are very inexpensive. They are very lightweight. They um, come with XP or Linux. It depends on the system. The MSI Wind, I believe, comes with XP only, and there are some. There are more low-budget mini systems that come with XP only. Whereas the ASUS PC One Thousand comes with Linux or Windows, your choice. But um, would I recommend this machine? Yes, I would. I believe I gave my rating already, but in case I did not, it is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the overall system. I would say it's a very good buy uh, if you're in the market for this type of laptop. Be aware that because of the small screen size, I would not recommend it for prolonged use. If you're going to use it for prolonged use, if you go into Ease of Access Center, which is primarily the um, accessibility center for people with uh, certain physical and yeah physical challenges, um, they have uh, built-in software that allows the screen to magnify. And with the MSI Wind, I would strongly recommend activating that software. What happens is there's a bar at the top of the screen 
that magnifies. Everything else is just regular old windows, and you would only have to keep your focus on that part of the screen, the uh, bar at the top. And again, uh, this is a 10-inch screen. The absolute limit for a netbook is 10 inches, so you're not going to find, if you're looking for a, net, uh, a computer of this type, you will not find anything above 10 inches, because that goes, in fact, 10 inches is right on the edge of what is considered a netbook. Once you get into the 11 and 12 inch, you're talking about an ultra-mobile uh, laptop, which, again, that can run around $2,000. The netbook is a completely different class of computer. It is meant for the light user. Uh, again, the MSI Wind is a good example of this. There's also the Acer Aspire 1, the Asus EPC, and the Dell Inspiron 1. Uh, mini Inspiron, I believe. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the MSI Wind. Comments and questions are welcome. No bashing on me, please. If you're curious about these glasses, please watch No Glasses Equals How Much Vision in terms of under to, to know why I, I wear these. Uh, thank you for watching. Once again, comments are welcome, and I look forward to them. Have a nice evening.